guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing another video tutorial featuring two looks from the Cannes Film Festival. I'm doing Eva Longoria today, so I've got two kind of smoky looks. The first one is this look, which is like a crisp wing with eyeshadow, and the second one is a more sparkly, smoky eye um, with a winged eyeliner. So I hope you guys like my interpretation of these gorgeous two looks from Eva that was seen on her on the red carpet. And I hope you like the tutorials, so just keep watching and I'll see you soon. So this is the picture of Eva that inspired me for this look. And to start out, I'm applying my Eau de Ton foundation. I finally got a new one in my color, which is number 170. I love this foundation. It's very thin, has great coverage, and has a powder finish. So it's perfect. I just really like it for my skin. And then for my brows, I'm using the Superliner Brow Artist in O2 Blonde. So I like to brush them up with the little brushes and then use the color through the brow. And if you want to, it does have a wax end to set the brows as well. I really like this because it, um, the color of it isn't too highly pigmented, so you can still see my brow hairs. Just thickens them up and looks really natural. Now onto eyeshadow, I'm using the Smoky Eyeshadow Quad. I'm just using a mixture of the two darkest shades on my eyelid. These are nice sort of satiny um, to matte finish eyeshadows and they're really blendable. So I'm using a flat eyeshadow brush to take it up to the crease and leave a crisp line. And then using an eyeliner brush, mixing the same two colors to create a wing. So drawing it directly out and then connecting through the socket there. Then I'm taking my Touche Magique True Match Anti-Fatigue Illuminating Concealer and I'm using that um, with most of the product wiped off around the edge of the eyeliner to make sure it's really nice and crisp um, and also to highlight under my eyes and conceal my pimples on my face. So just use that and then I'm blending it in with a blending brush. Okay, now to create a smoky effect around my lash line, I'm going to tight line using my Color Riche Le Cajal, um, pencil and I'm applying this through the waterline and as well as the top eyelid and then smudging it out with an eyeliner um, just to make it intense around the lash line and give it a bit of a smoky effect which is a nice contrast against the crisp line of the rest of the eyeshadow and then this mascara I don't know if it's available in Australia because it's the official one from the Cannes Film Festival but it's the Volume Million de Sils um, this exact one that I'm using was a special edition as a celebration of the festival but there'll be an equivalent in stores now I'm going to use a really pretty shimmering bronzer. This is the Glam Bronze La Terra. Just using that sort of all over my cheekbone to give a sun-kissed effect. And then for blush, and then for blush I'm using the La Blush in number 150. And this one has lots of shimmer in it. It's a really nice sort of pink to dusky rose color. And then looking at her picture, I sort of assume that she's wearing a clear lip gloss. Her lips are naturally a bit darker than mine. Mine are more pink, hers are more nude, but I do think that she was probably wearing the Glam Shine Lip Gloss from L'Oreal Paris, which is this one. And also because it is quite a graphic eye look, I think the nude lip and the clear lip gloss is the perfect match. So this is the finished look. Let me know what you think. And then this is the makeup look I was most excited to film because I love this sparkly smoky eye that she wore on the red carpet. I'm going to start out with True Match Foundation in N4. This is a fantastic coverage foundation with a really nice, um, you know, not shimmery finish and not matte finish. It's just really nice, great coverage and I love the way it makes my skin look. So I'm buffing that in with a duo fiber brush. And for my eyebrows, I'm using the same product as before because it is my favorite. It's the Blonde in the Superliner Brow Artist. Just the exact same process as before. I've been trying to keep my eyebrows looking quite natural lately and this is my go-to product for that. And what I'm about to do here is actually powder my eyelid only with the powder from True Match by L'Oreal. And I'm doing this just so that the eyeshadows that I apply next will blend out really easily. I'm using this brown shade in the color Infallible in Endless Chocolate. I'm using a really small blending brush to sculpt out my uh, socket line with that and blend it under the eye as well. Then I'm taking my E3 Infiniment Bronze in the Smoky Quad from the Color Riche range. I'm just using the lightest shade 
because it's quite sparkly and it's like a light beige color that's going all over the lid and on the inner corner of the eye. And for this I used a big flat shader brush just to save time. Here I took my Superliner Black Buster and created a line on my top lash line but also connected it into my inner tear duct for an exotic effect. This is a really black liquid liner in a pen form and this is going on my upper lid as I said and creating a wing that extends out toward the hairline. And in the picture of Eva she didn't have it this crisp but I wanted to do a crisp line. If you want to make it more blunt at the end you can. Here I'm taking more of the Endless Chocolate Infallible Eyeshadow and using that over the dried eyeliner to smoke it out. Now for mascara, I'm using one of my top favourite mascaras which is the Butterfly Wings Mascara. I really love this one because it makes my eyelashes really thick and long and makes it look like there's more of them. And then using my concealer again to clean up under the eye because I have been smoking out some dark colours, you'll definitely need to do this. This is the La Touche Magique Perfect Match again. And if you're wondering, this is the number DW345 Warm Beige. It's really good for covering everything from pimples to under eye circles and it's very handy to put in your purse. Now that I've done my concealer and everything, I can set the rest of my face. So this is the, the powder True Match. And I'm in the color N4, so it's the one that matches my foundation. And this is a really, really, really good um, finish to the skin. And then the bronzer is Blonde Harmony from Glam Bronze. I'm just using the bronzing side, although it does have a little highlighter in there as well. And I'm trying to actually sculpt this time, so under the cheekbones. It did look like she had a bit of um, contouring under there, so that's what I tried to do. And then this is the La Blush in the color 120, so it's a nice rosy petal pale pink shade with a little bit of sparkle in it. And then for lipstick, this lip shade in number 235 from Color Riche um, is a really, really perfect nude. I love how creamy it is on my lips. It's got a slight shimmer, but it still um, looks like a really wearable nude and it seems to suit my lip color so, so well. Now, just to finish off the look, I actually applied some false eyelashes to intensify the smoky effect. So bigger lashes make um, smoky eyes look even more smoky. And I just applied these um, just with some black eyelash glue. And then that's the look finished. You could add a gloss if you want, but I like the more natural looking lips. So that's it. I hope you guys really liked it. Let me know which was your favorite in the comments below. Um, I'll see you in the next tutorial, which will be another makeup tutorial next week. Um, let me know what kind of thing you'd like me to film because I'm not exactly sure what look it's going to be yet. Something a bit colorful, I think, because I feel like I've done some neutral looks lately. So maybe let me know what color you'd like to see on the eye and I'll see you in that video. Bye.